Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec Torelli. Welcome back to an episode of Ask Alec where I take your questions and answer them here in short videos here for you today. If you guys want more from me and want to ask me questions, be sure to uh, check out alectorelli.com slash askalec. You could ask me any question there and I'll pick the best ones and answer them. And then subscribe to my channel. You'll get notifications when the next video comes out so you can see when your question's answered, as well as stay up to date with the latest, most awesome free content coming your way here at Conscious Poker. Thank you guys for your support. That really means the world to me. Let's jump into today's question. This one comes from Pocket Nines on Instagram. He says, out of the last 20 tournaments I played, I got bad beats in 15 of them. How do you deal with these situations? Totally frustrated. Great question, Pocket Nines. And this is one I get a lot, and I definitely have a lot of empathy for bad beats in poker. They are the worst. It's so frustrating to play your best poker and really feel like you're doing great, and then all of a sudden, boom, it comes your way in a bad beat. In fact, I remember some of the tournaments I've played just wondering, like, you know, being one card away from a different outcome, where um, I, I remember, you know, final table of a World Poker Tour event I played, there's four people left, and I'm second in chips and I go up against the chip leader and I lose a coin flip. And no, it's not a bad beat, but it, it is a bad beat in the sense that, you know, I lost a coin flip and the winner of the tournament, he went on to be the winner of the tournament. I got a quarter million in prize money, which I'm extremely grateful for. It was an amazing payout for me. But first place was 1.1 million. And, um, you know, just that difference between what could have happened if, you know, the cards ran out differently. I always replay that scenario in my mind. Could I have played the hand differently? And, uh, you know, what would have happened if I, if I hit that hand? You know, how would my career be different or my life be different? Or, um, you know, what would have happened after that and, and whatever. So I, I definitely relate, um, and it, but it, it affects people at every level. Like no matter what, what game you're playing, uh, it's definitely frustrating. But, but here's the perspective I'd like to, to offer you guys. First thing is that you have to also be aware of the good beats. We're always thinking in poker of, you know, neutral expectation or neutral mindset or negative. And so we're never looking at the positive things that happen in poker because our expectation is always to win. Our expectation is to win, you know, when we have aces or hit a set or, or whatever it is, but we're never really looking at the good things that happen. And so the reality is that in order to not feel like the bad beat, like, look, I can't prevent bad beats from happening to you. But what I can do is give you perspective on how to navigate the situation so that the bad beats aren't overwhelming your poker playing, they're not overwhelming your mindset, they're not taking you away from enjoyment, and they're not hindering the quality of the decisions that you're making going forward, they're not leaving you frustrated. So the two ways to do that are gratitude, and then also be aware of the good situations that are happening. The first one is just to be grateful for everything you have in your life, being lucky to be born in the first world, being lucky to be able to play poker, a game for a living, or just to be able to play with enjoyment and realize that the money you're playing with, however small it is, is life-changing money to other someone else. Like literally half the world lives on less than 250 a day. So that single raise or big blind or whatever it is, is life-changing money for someone else. And the only reason why that's not you is not because you played your hand well, it's because you weren't dealt an abysmal hand. You weren't born into a reality that you can't escape from, that you're literally you know, making rice, selling it for $2 a day with your family for the rest of your life because you weren't born into that reality. We did nothing to be dealt the hand we were dealt. We were given it. And that perspective I take with me every single day to the poker table to realize that no matter what happens over here in the luck aspect of things, I'm already free rolling because I've already won because I've won the biggest coin flip of my life. So when I lose that coin flip of, you know, a million dollar coin flip at the final table of a tournament with four people left on the World Poker Tour final table, I'm like, I don't care because I won the only coin flip that matters, okay? So that's the perspective I'd like you to have going forward. I think bringing that perspective home really makes playing poker a lot more enjoyable. Um, the second thing is just realizing the good fortune that you have at the poker table. So every time you get aces, I'm grateful that I got two aces. How can I play this hand differently? And that's the mindset that you can bring with you in order to be focused on the positive. So instead of being like, oh, I got aces, I didn't win, you know, I didn't double up. I didn't win more money or what could have happened? How could it have been better? You're acknowledging what already good has happened. So instead of the mindset always being focused on what could have been better in terms of like how you could have gotten luckier, your mindset is focused on how you already got lucky and being grateful for that. 
So that's the place I'd like you to be in. You got 15 bad beats in 20 tournaments, I believe it, fucking respect. That's tough. But how many good beats did you get? How many times were you behind? How many times did you get aces to kings? How many times did you flop top pair, top kicker, and you know you win a pot? How many times did you flop a set? How many times did you double up? That's the kind of con that's the kind of the mindset I'd like you to be in, where it's like I'm only hearing the negative side of things. What about the positive side of things that outweighs that negative and that balances it out? How lucky did you get to even get to the money before you got the bad beat? How lucky did you get to win the coin flip that got you the big stack to get you to the final table before I got that unlucky losing that coin flip? That's the kind of balance that we need to bring to our poker playing to really to, to, to play our best, to be in the best mindset, to enjoy the game of poker more. Because ultimately, this is about two things. It's about playing better poker because you're your best self at the poker table. You're bringing your A game to the table. But it's also about enjoyment. Right? Even if you're playing well, but you're in a negative state of mind, it's like, what's the point? Poker is a game for fun. It's a game. It's a fucking game. So like, if you're not enjoying the game, why are you playing? Playing to get your hourly? Like, sure, that's a benefit of playing poker is that you can win money. That's the result of doing your job correctly. But the purpose of poker is because it should be enjoyable. So if you can't be in that positive mindset of that grateful mindset of that abundance mindset, then, then, then the game's not for you, man. So. That's the perspective I'd love you to have going to the poker table. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you want more awesome content coming your way here at Conscious Poker. That's the best way to let me know you like this content. Leave me your thoughts in a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Did you like this video? Give it a thumbs up. That would be really mean the world to me and let me know that you guys, that I'm producing content, that I'm gonna keep going in this direction because it's helping you guys and offering you guys value because that's really what this channel is about. Thank you for your time. Much love everybody and um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention. Cheers.